Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. I'm Chris Murdoch. On this episode of Race Face Spotlight, we're going to be interest, introducing you to one of our brand new Race Face Next drivers, or I should say brand new to Race Face Spotlight, Jake Bowman. Jake, how are you doing? Pretty good. So I sort of just want to jump into this. For the people who don't really know who Jake Bowman is, how did you get started in racing? So my dad started racing a uh, Pro 2 and a Pro Buggy in the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series. And so when I was three years old, he bought me a go-kart, and I started out from there. And, and what was it like racing that go-kart and then eventually moving up, you know, the, the Lucas Oil Dirt Series? I only practiced it, you know. I, mm. I drove, like, just at, at the tracks. That's it. Uh, what was it like sort of transitioning from racing dirt to, to driving pavement? I mean, it, it helped me a lot because when I would get loose in the center of the corner coming out, the dirt would help me like control it a little bit. So if I, if I got like sideways, I can steer it back. How has it been this season racing at Madeira Speedway with Nate Clower Motorsports? Pretty good. I mean, we got two top fives so far and uh, the second to last race, we got ninth. We um, spun out since the guy was coming down, and I turned and he just spun out. Is it fun racing at Madeira? Is there anything you've learned? Have you have you picked up your speed every week? Yeah, I've been getting faster and faster. It's a really fun track. That's awesome. And what has it been like working with some of your teammates? I know you know we have race face driver. Joey East over there, and you know Jesse Love comes back and, and runs a little bit here and there. What has it been like working with them? Joey has helped me a lot. Like he would show me his braking points, his throttle on the gas, and he would tell me like if you go deeper in the corner, it won't spin out. Like he would help me um, focus more. And what has you know the transition in from you know a, a, an off-road car to a stock car been like? You know racing those big junior late models? I mean, I feel like it's great practice around being other cars. They're bigger, and my dirt car is really small. and It's not as big, so this is like probably the biggest car I've driven. And I understand you've been racing some Legends cars at the Las Vegas Boring, is that correct? Yes. How has that been going so far? It's been pretty good. I won one race so far. Two races so far in the Young Lion class, and the last week or a couple weekends ago, I wrecked since he, um, a, a guy came down and I hit him. He was just rolling backwards, so yeah, that was a tough weekend. Yeah. But, that, it always yeah. sucks when you wreck the car, doesn't it? it it's, yeah. it's always a bad day. So what is... What has it been like transitioning from, you know, the junior late to the Legends cars? Is there anything you have to do differently for the, for the two tracks and the two cars? The junior late is more like, like, you have to like smooth, like more smooth than the Legend car. The Legend mm -hmm. car, you have to hustle it, you have to get into the corner, you have to get it out of the corner. You can't, you, the late model, you can drive it, get on the gas and go. Is there one in particular you like better? Do you like racing the Legends car more or the Junior Late model? I pretty like them both. Yeah, I like that, them both. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and how has it been, you know, switching back and forth? Because I know you, you run at Madeira some weeks and on your off weeks, sometimes you take the Legends car and you go to the bull ring. How has it been? Has it been fun, you know, doing that traveling and going back and forth and being able to drive both cars? Yeah, the bull ring is a fun track and so there's a ton of baking, banking, so... And like I said, this is your first race face spotlight. So I want to sort of hit you with some rapid fire questions. We're going to, you know, try to get to know you a little bit better, see what you sort of like. So I'm going to start it off. What's your favorite food? Tacos. Tacos? What do you, like? what do you get on the tacos? Just cheese. Just cheese? Just cheese? Um, favorite... Favorite series to watch, favorite racing series to watch on TV? The Junior Late Model Series. The Junior Late Model Series, yeah, you can catch that on MAV TV yeah. starting up here soon. Um, pizza or burgers? Pizza. Pizza. Uh, favorite drink? 
<laughs> I stumped you. Is there, yeah. anything, is there a, a particular drink that you drink every day? I mean, if you are a well, smart I, race, I was about to say, if you're a smart race car driver, you would say you stay drinking that water. So that's yeah. good to hear. Um, what do you do? What do you do when you're not racing? What do you like to do? Do you play video games? Do, what do you, what do you like to do? I guess I just drive on my simulator and it's a lot of schoolwork, so I have to catch up. How has it been trying to balance school and racing, you know, all season long? My school helps me out a lot when I miss so many days. That's, uh, that's really good. That's really good to have. And talking about the simulator, you can really get on there and learn a lot from, you know, racing on iRacing. I know they've got the Legends car and they've got a, a variation of the late model on there. Have, have you learned anything from being able to run on the simulator? Like, the late model, if you, you can go in deep as you heart, because if you hit the wall, you can just get in the car. <laughs> That's going to be fun. You can just hit the reset button, right? Yeah. So... Uh, so, so what are your goals in racing? Do you eventually, where, where do you want to eventually end up? NASCAR. NASCAR? Do you have a favorite NASCAR driver? Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch. He, he's been winning a lot lately, so you must be liking that. So I just wanted to get those rapid fire questions out of the way. It's, it's been awesome to sort of get to know you and, and where you've came from in racing. Um, is there anybody that you need to thank any sponsors any family that you know help you get to the racetrack and help you out every week i want to thank my mom my dad um nick and Clark, motorsports i want to thank tony for helping me spot and i want to thank donnie Steen hours for my legend car and spotting and helping me out and tony for the for teaching me the line showing me for the first time at madera well, Jake, I do want to thank you for joining us and, and taking the time to talk with me on Race Face Spotlight. Uh, it's been really fun. I uh, got to learn a lot about you. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. And that has been Race Face Spotlight with Jake Bowman. If you've missed any of our Race Face Spotlight episodes or any of our recurring shows, you can catch up on raceface.tv on demand. As always, I'm Chris Murdoch. Thanks for watching.